Hello everyone, I'm Mr. Mocha Lover, and thank you for joining me here at the start of a new campaign in Victoria 2, playing as that Russian Empire. Look at that flag. Beautiful. So, let's go ahead and get started and talk about what my initial plans are in Victoria 2, playing as the Russian Empire, and the UK has entered an alliance with Belgium. So be it. So, a few things about Russia. We might be second in the world in great power. But that's not going to last forever. Soon enough, we will drop in great power ranking because we are who we are. Uh, but I asked people on my Discord, who should I take out first? People in Africa, which sounds like a lot of fun, or go for Haiti. Because why not? We're already at war with a couple people here. We'll go to war with Haiti very soon. But we got to put down some rebels, we'll say. Put down some good old rebels. Uh, we don't want to tax the upper class too much. Tax the hell out of the poor people. A little bit of that. Maximize education spending. We have to get more educated uh, people there. We can lower spending on the Navy for now. Construction down here is okay. Uh, we're not doing anything about that. Good. Tariffs? Thank you, my boys, my friends. Yes. Tariff the hell out of them. And we're going to need ships. Let's see. We want 10 thingy-mabobs. So let's build 10 thingy-mabobs. And by 10 thingy-mabobs, I mean... I can't build 10. I can build 5. Or we have 5 places we can build them. Uh, make 11, just in case. Cool. What can we do? Show options. Nah, that's that's okay. We got all sorts of decisions we can take. But I want to let you know that this is my first time actually trying to use or play with HPM, Historical Project Mod. I think that's what the name is for this, for Victoria 2. I've never played, at least on this channel, using HPM. The last time I actually played HPM, or using Victoria 2 with HPM, was uh, years ago. Five years ago at the time of this recording, probably. And early on, we really don't want the Prussians to do well. So I'm going to actually probably ally with Austria. Because Prussia, we cannot afford them getting too large or too strong. Because they could just steamroll us, which I don't want. If anything, we're probably going to balkanize Prussia. We might make a strong Austria, but we definitely want to be friends with France, which we really don't like us right now. So I'm probably early on going to go to war with Prussia. That's probably not going to happen in this episode, probably in the next one. It'll be what it'll be, so whatever. But, and, ooh, also our education is really bad, which is really going to hurt us for a long time. Let's go ahead and get some uh, bureaucrats. Moscow, thank you. We're going to need some bureaucrats there. You're, there's a lot of serfs in Russia at this time, which is not ideal. Uh, we get minus bonus to army, navy, get a small bonus to, oh, a pretty big bonus to cultural stuff. Let's do that first. Let's get some more education efficiency, because... Early game, Russia is not going to do very well in researching. Just going to be straight up honest with you. It's not going to be a good time for us, researching stuff. But we're already at war. We've got to put down some rebels. Please, thank you. Please, thank you. And this army composition stuff, it's not great. Good, good, good. What? Why are you going into my lands? Good. Crush them. Destroy them. Tell them. Teach them a lesson. And they all died. Good. I love it when they all die like that. And you're just going to stay down there. And of course we have the Ottomans down... Are we allied with the Ottomans or something? We are allied with the Ottomans. Are we like rebels or... Not rebels. We're not rebels. But uh, like rivals. Like the big R word. Rebels. Oh, since we're here. Oh, good. Peace. Would you like some peace? Great. We annex them. Something tells me we're going to keep these guys here though. If you know what's going to happen. I'm going to go to war with Haiti because we can. And we don't have that much infamy right now. So, Russian Haiti. That's what I dream of. And we're going to need a little bit more money. So, middle class. Sorry about that. Oh, I really can't hurt you too much. As long as we're making po a positive amount. Oh my god, that's a lot of infamy. That's okay, though. Russia. Infamy is just a number. Uh, actually, you know what? You guys go down that way. What am I doing? What am I doing here? I'm going to keep these guys here, which would be good. Uh, and we let's make a rally point in... I don't know how to pronounce that. R Z H E V. Rezev. I have no idea. Rezev. Cool. And let's get a good template going. So, it really doesn't matter. I'm going to trust the Russians the most. Because in Russia, we have a lot of minorities, which might be accepted cultures or not. I really don't know. Two, three. And I know I'm making them all in Asia, which makes no sense for me right here, right now. What, whatever. Uh, who's an accepted culture? That's why. I'm just worried about it. Because when I played as Japan in regular Victoria 2 in the, our first campaign on this channel, Really, technically, second campaign. We had a lot of Korean uprising. They weren't an accepted 
uh, culture on which you can see here there's a lot of quite a few Ukrainians here which is cool Poles Belarusians but for us okay we actually do have them as an accepted culture so using them probably shouldn't be have should have no issues but you never know. we even have the last one which is awesome Zosa oh god if I go to war with Prussia hmm they have the UK but we do have France I don't like that hmm can I afford a war with the UK? That'd probably be next episode stuff, so just because it's going to take a while to get down there and make sure that we stabilize our country well enough. Good, we did that. You're actually going to just stay there for now. These five armies are just going to stay there. We're going to go ahead and invade Haiti. It shouldn't be too much of a problem. And also, let me know in the comments below if the audio is a little too loud, because it's hard to gauge the audio on Victoria 2 sometimes. Let's go ahead and do this. Good. We put him down. And if we have to, we'll put them down again. Great. Come right there. And I will delete some armies, reform things around. France. So no matter what, when Germany or the North German Federation or even Prussia goes to war with France, we will be on the other side to put them down. But it's 1836, and historically, we're going to need to be prepared. Ooh, the Caucasus War. The Russian annexation of the Caucasus has been met with increasing bitterness and anger among the local populace, tribal groups that are angry with the Russian administration and have declared that their homelands shall be freed from our rule. This has become a problem as rebels take to the highlands. Rooting them out may take a very long time indeed. Imam Shamil and the Shishin Muslims are leading raids from the highlands and forests. This frontier region promises brew problems in the near future. To consolidate our hold in one of the provinces of this region, the fort of Yekaterinodar will not be the capital of the province anymore, and the recently founded port city of Novorossiysk will be the new regional capital. Our order shall be restored. Yes. Get, get a core. Good. Good. And I just gave this province to our puppet satellite of Transcaucasia. Grazny. That's what Grazny is. Cool. Oh, there's not enough supply. I think we've got a port here. Nice. Go ahead and do that. And there we go. If we really want to, we can go to war with them at any time. We have until pretty much July. We almost have enough transports. And we do. Hope we can make it all the way over there. And we immediately make less money. Tax them just a little bit more. Tax them just a little bit less. We gotta make sure we have enough bureaucrats. Oh, good, we do. Bureaucrats, good administration stuff. I don't exactly know what bureaucrats do, but they help your administration, which is always helpful. Good. Give them one more month, and then I'll send them to Haiti. Denmark. No, thank you. I'm not interested right now. I want to get just a little bit more supply. Supply's looking really bad right now. If that's the case, what do we need for supply for these guys? Plus wigs. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, that's not bad. Uh, now we gotta declare war, we gotta save our diplomatic points. Artillery clipper convoys. Train clipper convoys. Where are those clippers? Stockpile. Stockpile of... It's going... We've got point seven. I hope these guys can make it without dying on the way over there. Haiti has no military score. Hope this works. I really hope this works. So we're taking a lot of debt. Tensions dissipate in North Caucasia. Awesome. We have a casual population of about 61 million, almost 62 million. That's, that's not bad. Good, good, good. It's gonna take some time to get over here. Great. Hello there. And our puppets have, or allies have decided to come along with us. Who needs uncolonized people when you can just take Haiti? We'll do that, because they have a port down here. And we desperately need a port to repair ourselves. Great! We just killed them off! Saxony, don't really care. Yeah. Turks and Caicos. Oh, that's where that is! It's close to Cuba. I've always seen the commercials on TV sometimes for Turks and Caicos. And that's over there. Cool. I'm learning geography! Uh-oh. That's the port, right? Is that not the port? Oh, there it is. Okay. Good! Now come in to the channel. Heal up. Happy 1837, my friends. Happy 1837. Uh, Gondor fears our might. Ascension of Queen Victoria, that's fine. Uh, rebels, 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 rebels. 
So, one of the biggest things I learned about playing Victoria 2 is that you should probably, probably, keep a very strong army in your capital in, ca in case rubbles come alive. Because rubbles... Oh, hello. They're not great. How did you get over here? Corpus. Awesome. Going to help siege him out. Amazing. But now we can't take other islands, which is fine. Uh, I will take some African colonies. Thank you. Ah, peace. Good. Let's lower the spending for the military right now, because I can't afford it. Lower this by a little bit more. Construction. Lower that by two. Good. What did I click on? I clicked on civilization levels. Good. But isn't that a bit great? Hispaniola. Thumbs up from Mr. Mocha Lover. And I feel very accomplished now. Alright, that's the campaign. We're done here. Just kidding. Just kidding. We're not done here yet. This is merely the beginning. In the first 11 minutes, we took out Haiti. Love it. What are the RGOs down here, actually? Oh, some... Tobacco? Oh, I love tobacco. Ooh, so D and Piedmont. Coffee. That's good. Coffee. And more tobacco. I love tobacco. I'm from the tobacco state. The Tar Heel state. Cool. Ottomans are doing stuff. Who is allied with these guys? Mm, nobody. I don't think the French would really want an alliance with us right now. Spain? Probably not. Oh, we're allied. Yeah, that makes sense. Or, you know what? Instead of Prussia, we could both beat up on Austria. Maybe that might be a better idea. I don't know. You never know what happens. It won't hap It won't even matter by the end game. but let's just make sure we have, we have good relations with everyone, including the Austrians, because they're going to need our help very soon. No thank you for now. And I'm going to actually probably leave this army down here, just because it... If you know history, it, these guys might rebel someday. But I will take my ships back. Well... I guess they can come here. I'll probably get rid of those Man of Wars eventually. Or they might just die because I don't give them a supply. That might also work. So, like I said, Russia is actually kind of challenging. What the hell are you doing? Oh, uh, the Sikh Empire, whatever. Russia's challenging. It actually is pretty challenging just because you don't have a lot of education people. Education for anyone or literacy, you have less than 10%. And we got to fix that. We should open up a colony to free competition between any and all traders. Yes. And we need money so I can invest in education, so I can make people more literate. So early game, we're going to go for colonies. I'm going to go for China as well. Brazil. Sure, why not? I want to take out Manchuria, take out the coal, go to China. Oh, and in HPM, we can acquire a subset region. We can get a puppet from them. It's going to take more infamy, because we, which we don't have right now, whatever. Send a Russian expedition to Ascension Botanical Expedition. Yes. Uh, yes, influence, good. Oh, who do we want to influence? That's a good idea. Definitely want to influence a couple people here. One, two, three. We probably want to influence Abskazia. Kiva would probably be good to do as well. Uh, Bukhara, Bukhara. Coquelin. And probably Manchuria, because we want to get out of Manchuria eventually. We might not annex Manchuria, we might just go for Mongolia or Tanu Tuva. Tanu what? I don't know. Uh, cool. Ottoman Empire. Increased relations. We don't want to piss you off too much. We don't want to piss off anyone really too much, to be frank with you. Uh, throw in one of theirs. There's a lot of uncored states. You know, there's colonies over here. Quite literally colonies. We core all that stuff. Core the rest of Siberia. You need to by that. Uh, Greece. I'm not really interested in Greece. I could. Actually, if I ever play Greece... I probably will ally the Russians. So, one of the most influential writers in modern Russian literature who brought Russia to on par with the rest of Europe, Pushkin was known for his works like Eugene Onegin, Boris Godunov, and the captain's daughter. He died in February 1837 after a duel with a French immigrant. A tragic death. Tragic. And you never know what might happen in Poland. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Might need to put a few poles down here and there. Oh, arch. Archangelsk. Cool, and if you never knew history, apparently the Russians owned Alaska. And I might give the Americans Alaska, but you never know. I kind of like having Alaska here. It's kind of nice. And Mexico is, well, Mexico. This is barely populated. Like, really, just barely populated. The Tejas is over here. Oh, they're getting more Texan, Texan, Texan stuff. Afro-American, Dixie culture, good stuff. Yankee culture, cool. French culture, French Algeria. What's going on? Uh, I really don't care what's going on there. I really don't. Persia. We do want to influence Persia, though. We want them under us. What an alliance. They will not accept. Uh, let's get friendly relations with the Americans. That would be good. Oh, 
god, that might be a little loud. Highlander Rebels, cool. Oh, another neat. Do we really, we don't really need that navy here. That's costing me money too, so. The more money I can have right now, the better. Because trying to get an industrial score with Russia, it's going to take some time. Oh, we do have an army down here. Hmm. But at least we're not Japan, we can start off with Hussars and regular infantry. One, two, three, four. Good. I'm going to make better and better armies just so that we can colonize other places. Because I do want to take out... I don't know what to take out. Because people have always said, you know, the Bank of Africa, the Bank of China. Which is better for me to take out. Oh, they went to war. That's fine. No one cares. Sikh Empire. Missionaries executed in Kutai? We've received reports for, that a number of our missionaries have been executed in Kutai. Part of the... Kutain action to round up all unwanted foreigners. The missionaries were peaceful, and the Russian public is understandably enraged. Many believe that war is necessary, while others have the potential for war with Kutai simply isn't worth it. The missionaries knew that they were not permitted in Kutai after all. Not be permitted. What the hell is that? Kutai? Oh. Oh. Hello. Atmosphere. Hmm. But do I really want to add to Sphere? I think I just want to eat you guys. I think I want Brunei. I think I just want to go nom 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 nom. It's fifth. Oh my god. 15 infamy. Holy crud. That's a ton of infamy. Okay, that's three for humiliate. Is it worth getting under my sphere? I mean, they don't have. They have some fruit. But we're currently importing fruit. Uh, that could be good. I suppose. Okay. So be it. You convinced me. If we can go to war, we can go to war. It's always nice to go to war. We might not have the budget for it, but whatever. It wars. Well, some would say war never changes. Give me a month and I'll go to war with them. Or at least get our guys going down there. And a month. Get a little bit more supplies. A little more organization for the get on a boat. All right, boat time. Down to Kutai. Maybe stay there. Cholera? Eh, this happens several times, so I'm not even gonna worry about it. Lose militancy is always good. Pieter's dead. No, not Pieter. Tensions dissipate. Great. Great, great. Keep increasing relations with the French? Maybe even the Prussians. Maybe I won't take them out. As long as they don't go to war with me. Maybe me and Germany allying could be one hell of a combo. Uh, no, I'm not really interested in pissing off the Austrians. That's really not my goal. But I had to keep a high, high, high eye, or good eye, on education for the people. That's incredibly important. And then roads. I want roads. Tons and tons and tons of roads. I have to build Russia up. Or our late game will be very bad. They're very, very poor. Chitral, annex them. Cool. Our guys are down here. If anyone ever attacks Switzerland, nah, they're done for. Let's go and go to war because we can. And I want your goods. Uh, you probably come right there first. I was just look, casually losing more money. That's okay. Just go and kill them off. I'm feeling pretty good, though. We already have Haiti under us. The Kowloon incident? Oh. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, God. Oh, no. What's going on down here? Eh, we won. As expected. Oh, boy. The War of Kutain submission. The War of Confederation. And, op oh, God. The First Opium War. I want to do that. Negotiate an unequal treaty. I'm not sure how to get that against the Qing Empire. I would love to have that modifier, though. Or, you know. You can demand a concession. But it ain't... Demand an unequal treaty. If you know how to do that, please let me know in the comments below. Oh, my God. These guys are really not good. No, it was the outreach last night, whatever. Dun, 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 dun. Bum, 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 bum. Uh, Prussia. You look like a good nation. A good industrious nation that could help us out. Great. 
Cool, and... I wonder if we can form an alliance with them. And get military access, because I could just stay here, maybe, and take out some some nations. That actually might be a good idea. Just wait a month, guys. Wait a month. Oh, come on. Oh, I don't want it to wait all that time to... Uh, I can't increase relations with them. Back home. Go back home. Actually, just come this way, actually. I'm building a port, maybe, up here, maybe? Chumacan. There you go, build a port. Come on, it's 1839. We're still trying to get our first doctrine, do doctrine, technology done. Oh, come on, come on, come on. Oh, and we can lower spending for the army. That's fine. That actually probably be good. Save a little bit of money. Oh, look at that money coming in. Come on, more positivism. Oh, wait, hold on. Forgot about the bureaucrats. Forgot about them. Oh, you're still doing well over there. Moscow's done. Let's get some bureaucrats over here. Good. Nice, better education. Now, ooh, it's, we, we might be able to do that eventually. I do want to get better armies, but against weaker people, we should be okay. Let's see, that's 9,000 research points. This would be... Oh, we could invest in roads now. Oh, what is better? I'm not sure. Uh, it's probably not even a good idea to do medicine, to do railroads first. But whatever, I'm doing it. I want it. I want it. Uh, I need to build armies up for Qing China. Qing Empire, Qing China, whatever. I really, really hope that the Heavenly Kingdom wins, because if the Heavenly Kingdom wins against, you know, regular China, that shatters the sub-states. Like, Manchuria will be free, uh, Xinjiang will be free as well. That would be awesome. I'm going to increase relations with you guys, so I can make you... Um, they're my sphere, but make them my, almost my puppet, and use their land to intervene in other people's affairs. Which is always a good idea. Priority. Let's sort by priority. Nice. Manchuria. Hello, Manchuria. Oh, Belgium's a good power. Nice. Prussia. Yeah. You don't need a Lebensraum to the east. Lebensraum in Western Germany, Western Europe. That north, south, west. Just don't go east. Mexico. Mm, I'm not interested in that. I'm really not interested. Someone tells me you want you might go to war with the Austrians someday. Oh, actually, I might need to get ready for that. Ooh, uh, I'm going to need this army over here. You brought up another army. Another army of pure Russians. Two, three, four. Uh, four it is. Five. One, two, three, four, five. Good, another army. Great. Coming in there. We are ranked two for a while. We're the most, we're the biggest military power in the game. I need to get to Africa, too. Hmm. Just because we beat you doesn't mean we don't want to be friends. We beat you to become friends. Don't you understand, Kutai? Oh, you're allied with Pontiac? Ponten Pontianak. Kalimantan. Oh, you're over there. Oh. Uh, sure, UK? I mean, I'd like to, I guess. I don't really care. Good, money's coming in so we can get some more roads and then get more education. Education. I'm sacrificing some ability to go to war with the European powers early game so I can go to war with the European powers late game. That's the goal. Oh, we have claims on Finland. Oh, but they're our satellite. Oh, I didn't realize that. Oh, I'm going to go to war with Sweden then. Kiva, good. Oh, look at that money. You know what? If we're making that much money, I want the capitalists to invest in my country if possible. I doubt they will, but I really would love them to. Alright, and we're building more armies. Oh, great. You're looking good. You're looking better. <laughs> nice, look at all that money pouring in. Uh, just in... Oh, I don't want to siege that down too harshly. We want to build forts there. Maybe build a few forts. Maybe not there. Uh, I can build some forts there. Why not? Let's see. Coquelin. 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 That's Coquelin. Persia. I love Persia. Look at that money. Maybe build a few more forts there. Everyone's getting their needs, which is pretty good. Always tax the hell out of the poor people, because that's always fun. Construction, fun that more for now. Because construction costs only go down, or they will only go down, um, if I don't build anything, so. What is that? Hanover? Prussia? Cool. Prussia? You're a cool dude? Kaisers? Cool. Austria? Cool. Uh, obviously, I can't ally both. They're going to kill each other at one point or the next. If Prussia somehow gets weak, for any reason whatsoever, 
we'll probably attack them, but for now, we'll just kind of be cool with them. We'll be cool dudes. Nice. One, two, three, four, five. Here we go. One, Tsaritsyn. Two. Russian boys, where are you? One more, one more. Oh, there's Lithuanian guys, too. Oh, there's no more Russians, huh? Uh, well... These are almost Russians. Buy the Russians. Good enough. Get the railroad so we can build a lot of roads, and then we'll get more educational efficiency. Oh, look at that industry, industry, industry score. It's so bad. Demobilize. Uh, I guess... Well, they got Hong Kong. What does Hong Kong even have? Let's see. China. Guangdong. Oh, they got purchased goods? Oh, that's so good for them. Why can't I get that? Li Land, liberty, and labor. Treaty port. Oh. Uh, good. Oh, idealism would be so important to get now, too. Ah, uh, it gives us more research points. I have to do it. I have to do it. It's not like we're getting gas attack yet. But now I can invest in roads. Oh, yeah. Build roads up. Auto saving. Cool. Is anyone investing in roads here? No. Okay, the government has to invest in roads. So be it. So be it. Give enough money. Build up some Ukrainian places. Really, I don't know. I don't want to be too discriminatory. If I have to, I have to. But uh, where's, my, where's my navy? Oh, they're over there. That's why. Um, I don't know. I'm just a little apprehensive of potential rebellions with people that might rebel against me someday. Oh yeah, build up the coal stuff. Just build up roads everywhere. We must be connected to all to each other. No matter what happens. You, me, and more roads. Oh! There's our uh, divisions, brigades moving around. Cool. We're gonna need a lot of resources for this. No, I, I obviously didn't click on the brigade game. Uh, if we have to, we can build up in some Ukrainian lands as well. Oh, it's a Tartar culture too. Nice. And wave of colonial unrest. It is clear if there was perhaps something in, in the air that year. Some theorize that it might have been due to unusual solar activity. Others maintain that it was nothing but a series of unfortunate coincidences. A convergence of catastrophes, if you will, but whatever had caused it, 1841 saw a wave of unrest spilling through the Russian colonies like wildfire through a dry bushland. A wave of unrest shakes our colonies, and we must decide on how to handle it. Concessions to the natives will come at the price of a serious loss of an international face, but we can handle not giving them. But can we handle not giving them? Ah, situation will pass. Who cares? Cool, you're done. Novgorod. And then I will get some intellectuals in St. Petersburg, our capital. Rest. There. Oh man, we're running out of money. I can't do this forever. Oof. But I love building roads so much. I really need to play a road, railroad building simulator. Cool, we got enough diplo points. Maintain friendly relations with all the nations, all the major powerful people. Even the Turks. Even the Turks. Underground printing press. Uh, let it operate. Let it operate. We get a few more liberal reforms, and we'll feel pretty good about ourselves. We can reform, get more education, maybe eventually get some health care. That'd be good for the people. And we've got to wait another month before I can increase my relationship with Kutai. Actually, I not form an alliance yet. Nah. They don't like us that much. Makes sense. I mean, we kind of beat them up a little bit. Whatever. Awesome. Factories. I'm oh, making pretty, a pretty good amount of money. I like it. I like it. Tariffs are operating at a great amount. Military-wise, we've got another army down here. Awesome. That's good. What do we need to build up railroads? Steel, cement, lumber. So, just in case, let's buy a supply of this stuff. Steel. That's iron. We need steel. Looks like it's... it's we're changing in price. Steel. The Oriental Crisis. 
Support the Empire. Oh, Russian diplomats have been watching the Crescent develop in the Orient for some time, and now that the Ottomans and Egyptians are at war, it has become clear that the Empire's hold over its dominion is crumbling. Should the Egyptians successfully challenge Ottoman rule, it could upset the entire balance of power in the region, something that many feel would threaten the Russian interests. Still, others believe that the Russian Empire must remain neutral despite the cost of relations with the Empire. The Ottomans are on their own. Support the Empire. Oh, we go to war with them. The Empire... Oh, the people are going to demand we withdraw. Huh. Screw it. I've never seen this. I've never done this before. Transfer of provinces. Uh, I just want steel, lumber, and... There's one more I don't remember. Yep, looks like we're at war again. Who needed a budget? Oh, we're at war with Hedgehaz. Uh, you guys should have it, for the most part. So anyone... Army... Oh my gosh, the French are involved too. Oh, this could blow up in my face. This could really blow up in my face, probably. And who can I get relations? Kiva. Who's winning? They both have su such similar flags. The Egyptians look like they're winning. Uh, where's my army? Uh, can I get... I need more diplomatic points. Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't spend all mine. Ah, but we can get straight through there. That's good. Yukata. We are your friendly, neighborhood-friendly Russians. We merely want the best for our allies. Who might be able to help us. Maybe I should have not spent all that money on railroads. Oh, well, I like building stuff. I got a war with these. Oh, I can justify on Persia. Nice. They really don't need my help, but whatever. The first Russian railroad! In 1837, a 26-kilometer long rail line was built connecting St. Petersburg with a royal residence in NC's S. This is the first railroad in the Russian Empire. Absolutely. There's, it's almost like a reason why we must have it. A place in the sun. Ah, more prestige. Prestige me. This isn't Call of Duty prestige system, no. But it's a different type of prestige. An international prestige. Great. Take a Beirut. Don't tell me, Ottomans, that I never came to help you out. Good, and how much? We don't have that much infamy. Uh, if this is some allied with the Ottomans, I don't really care. I want... We could demand a concession, but I really don't have the army for it. Especially what's going to happen in 1848-ish. Sidon? Sidon? And I need to save a little bit more money after this, so... Yeah, that'd be good. And save a little bit of diplomatic points, too. Get Acre? Acre? Hmm. Nice. Oh, let's get that area too. Uh, where's the where's war? Russian intervention. Well, <laughs> Russian intervention in Egypt. They have five divisions. War of the Confederation, Mexican restoration to the order of the Rio Grandes, Oriental. Oh, Ottoman Empire. Oh, they're doing pretty well. So the Ru the French came in to help the Egyptians. They want status quo. War to humiliate Guatemala. British intervention in Egypt. Oh, the British are even fighting them too. So me. And the UK are both interfering in Ottoman uh, disputes. Nice. Is that a Turkish horse? Or Ottoman a horse? Ah, oh, 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 who cares? That, things happen. Come up there, please. Can I, thank you. Control the intellectuals, please. Smallpox, every life is precious. Except some might say some lives are more precious than others. I don't know. Where uh, is, is the bureaucrats? There they are. Smosk. Excuse me, sir. Sir, you need to be put down. Thank you. I got not even half a war. I got half a war score. Point six is usually about half. Usually. Al Alish. Oh, look at that. That looks so bad. Now, I'm going to wait for our enemy to go down before we go to war too much more. Oh, end of the Orient Snow Crisis. Make peace. Huh. Gain prestige. The Egyptians have surrendered to the Ottomans and agreed to abide by the terms of the London Convention. Stability has been restored to the Orient for now. All that remains is for us to decide whether to end hostilities with the Egyptians and return any Ottoman lands that we hold. Continue as we are. Ah, make peace. We might as well. Oh. Okay, so they unallied me. You bunch of Ottoman wankas. Oh, you're fighting them. Would you like an alliance? And we're buddies again. We're good buddies. And let's lower this down. 
Oh, crud, we took a loan? Oh, no. Oh, no. That's not good. That's not good. But now we're making money. Let's... If we can't... I, for, I didn't even realize we were out of money. Yeah, I can't go to war yet. Um, can I repay that loan, please? Thank you, France, for your help. I appreciate it. We will remember this. Maybe. Yeah, maybe I shouldn't build all those roads. But you never know. Hmm. Good. You know what? More roads. But on... But that's pretty much where we're going to end today's episode. We've gone through the first seven-ish years of the game. Uh, what do we do? We took out Haiti. We have Russian Haiti, which looks amazing this time of year. Let me get that in there, too. And we already are in a ton of... We were in a ton of debt, but we fixed ourselves. We are trying to establish some sort of relation down here in Asia. And we helped the Ottoman buddies out. We're not really pissed off at them, or they don't really hate us either. So, hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below. Let me know how else I can make this campaign more interesting, what nations I should take out, focus on Africa, focus on Asia, what I should do with trying to educate my populace. But like I said, hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, I will see you tomorrow in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.